And I'll keep it What's up guys, welcome again to Savage Gaming. I am continuing from exactly where we left off last time. I want to show you guys how to take down a level 1 wolf. So I've got my gun, I've got 7 bullets. I have got 4 more. But what I want to do is I'm going to take down this wolf. Because we need protein. Protein is, is good in this game and we, we need it. So, from from a from a food point of view, so, here we go. Reload, and we take him down. There we go. So we've taken down our first wolf. I obviously missed a few shots because it only takes about five or six bullets to kill a level one wolf. But in this case, I missed it, so I am going to equip my axe, crouch down, move up to this guy, and I am going to butcher him. Now, I hold F, and it will skin him. And you'll see here, it says dead wolf carcass, two pieces of meat, and some fat. I'm going to take everything. Everything, because it's the beginning of the game. We want everything. Right, uh, it looks like we've got some, I'm um, bleeding as well, so in order to sort out the bleeding, I'm going to take a bandage, right click, and say bandage yourself. So yeah, we, we, we took a bit of damage, but so be it, you know. I'd rather take a knock than die from starvation. Okay, so it's it looks like it's getting, yeah, it's getting dark. We're going to have to find a, a place to, to camp out for the night. Now what I like to do is I like to go to a higher ground. And get onto one of these rock faces because, yeah, it's just, you know, nothing can jump up from the bottom. It, it, just, it just feels safer. It's not a guarantee, but it's better than nothing. So I'll pick a spot and I, I need to build a campfire. Now, in order to build a campfire, I've got enough wood, but I need sticks. So what I do is I go here on this menu and I click on sticks and I go one, two, because I need two sticks to build my campfire. So there's one, built, and two built. And I say craft campfire. Now, you'll see when once you once your campfire here uh, is 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 crafted, it's going to end up at the bottom of the screen in your hotkeys uh, to be able to place it. So we're gonna place our campfire, and so we can place it anywhere around. Yeah, I'm gonna pop it right there. Walk up to it. It's going to say F to open. I'm going to open it up. Now we need two things to make a fire work. We're going to put some fuel in. So I'm going to take all my wood, fuel it up. You can see how much fuel it's got. And I'm going to put my matches into the ignition section and ignite it. Don't leave your matches in the fire. Take If you've got more than one matches, take the one out because... If you run out of fuel, it's going to burn the matches as well. And you don't want that because you might be stuck again later on trying to, 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 make, uh, to make another fire and you've got no matches. Um, in order to eat your food, take your meat, drag it onto the fire. And here we go. Your meat's going to cook. It's going to look like this for now. Once uh, once your meat's cooked, you'll see the, the the icon or the animation. The meat will change color, and that that'll that'll indicate when the meat's cooked. You can also just um, take your mouse cursor and hover over the over the meat, and it'll tell you if it's lightly cooked or you know badly cooked or whatever. It's, it's going to tell you if it's rotten and so on and so forth. 
But just to show you guys, there we go. It's a slightly cooked steak. Could use more cooking. So we'll leave it on a little bit longer. Wait for it to change. That's what I love about this game. It's, it's just a little bit more realistic. And uh, you don't have zombies coming after you or mutants. It's it's a bit more, you know, gives you that that feel of real realism, if I can put it to you that way. Yeah, I enjoy it. I think it was really nice. There we go. We've got a nicely cooked steak there. Let's take that off the fire. Also, guys, the ash at the bottom here, where I'm circling now, the ash. Um, makes for good fertilizer and that's going to help you later on in the game so don't just leave it keep it with you um yeah it's it's much better that way you know when you when you start building plants or pl not plants but plant beds uh, ash makes a really good fertilizer so keep it with you so I, i'm going to right click on one of these steaks and i'm going to say i want to eat it so at the bottom here, I'm going to see my protein goes up, my fruit and veg didn't go up, and my hydration didn't go up. But I've got some good food. I think we're ready to move on. I can eat this apple now. If I eat the apple, right click, my fruit and veg will go up. Like, there we go. Awesome. Right, so I'm going to press G again. And here we are, we're in the middle of the night. There's the beautiful night sky. I think we're pretty protected from any sort of wandering animals. You will, you can be attacked by animals um, if you don't have a base foundation, which I'll show you guys in another video. But this will definitely protect you to an extent. Just so stay on a rock, stay out of everyone's way and you should be okay. When the sun comes up again, uh, just be careful. When the sun's up, doesn't necessarily mean it's warm enough. Just, uh, yeah, wait till you get some direct sunlight. Um, and that's it for this video, guys. Uh, hope it helped you out, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, guys.